Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Be Castled. We are going to continue to expand our little kingdom here. However, we're going to run into some issues. Uh, I only set this one for 10 days, so in a couple more days, we will not be able to continue this kingdom. However, good news is we'll be able to start a new one. I have learned from that, and we will be setting it on Unlimited. That will also allow us to explore a different map type. There's hills um, that we can use, and that allows you to create you know, different pathing to, to send your enemies into kill boxes. So that is something we'll be able to explore with our new castle. We're at about 55 seconds until the next attack. Um, I did a little bit between the episodes. I built this tower, built this section of wall, and built, um, I think, two or three sections of wall here. Uh, just because that's kind of boring stuff that you guys probably don't want to see, seeing as we've done that quite a bit already. We are running into issues with our food as well. We're at negative 10 food a minute. So after this next attack, my plan is to go ahead and buy the uh, cattle here, this little plot of land for some cattle. Uh, I don't want to buy it now with so little time left. Well, we got 22 seconds left, 20 seconds left, because uh, I do not want the blue flames every so often when you buy a plot of land. The blue flames will move and all of a sudden we'll be down here and we won't be prepared for the next attack. So we've got just a few more seconds here until the moon people decide we are not friendly and let's just see what they bring to attack us depending on exactly which direction they come from and what do we see. We got a battering ram and a catapult back there and they are already being attacked by our beautiful archers. Uh, it looks like some knights just spawned in as well. Uh, both these wolves' dens might help us. We'll see. If they come this way a little bit, which it looks like they're trying to, they will have to fight us and the wolves. Looks like this group's going to kind of beeline this way. Yep. And they're going to start to be attacked by all of our archers on the wall. Oh, there's quite a lot spawning in. Okay. They came to play. Except they're going to play with the wolves and not us. So let's go ahead and... Get a nice little angle shot there. They are all going towards the wolves. That's fine with me. Makes our job a little easier. And there goes one of the battering rams. And there is a catapult shooting at our archers. That is not cool, but looks like we're going to knock out most of the people. So that catapult has been neutralized. Uh, looks like they're going for this section of wall for whatever reason. So we'll move our swordsman over here just in case. Those catapults are shooting at the wolves, fine by me. And more arrows are raining down upon their people. And there goes that catapult. A couple more guys are fail falling to our arrows. The wolves knocked out another catapult, so that is better. Except that wolf is deciding to take on like 10 or 12 guys at once. I don't know why they're going this way. You think they would have came straight in. Whatever. Um... So let's go ahead and start moving this group of archers down this way. Just so we get a little support. Because this tower can't do it all. It might be able to. That archer just fell. We got one battering ram left. And a couple of more guys. But I think between our archers and the wolves. We are in pretty good shape. Pretty good shape indeed. The wolf is taking out the last couple guys. This battering ram is about to go. It is at what? 2 180. 170, 90, 80, 70, 60, and it's about to go. There it goes. And I believe all the people are dead, and now it's just a matter of destroying this last battering ram, which between the big wolf, or giant wolf, excuse me, and our archers will not be an issue. And there we go. We survived night number seven. So we've got a couple more nights left. Let's see where the blue flames are at now. They are over here. Well, I wanted to buy this tile, so let's go ahead and buy this tile. And now they are over here, so let's go ahead and plop down a... Oops, nope, they are now right here. Okay, I can live with that. So let's go ahead and wall this section off. And then we need to get ourselves a farm there as well, but we'll have to wait for some of our wood to respawn. So let's grab these nine guys, and we're going to put them in this tower here. So they can start marching over there, and we'll grab these nine guys. And we're going to put this and put them in that tower right there. And then we'll move these guys to this center part of the wall. Our swordsmen. Um, let's put them here. Perfect. 
All right, so everyone's got their marching orders. We got about seven minutes and 20 seconds to get ready for the next attack. If you guys have checked out Be Castled, you know, let me know down in the comments below what you like about it, what you don't like about it. Good news is it's still in early access, so uh, Mana Potions, the developing studio, has plenty of time to make changes. You know, if there's things we would like to see improved or changed or just different in the game, definitely let us know in the comments below and maybe they'll see them. Who knows? Uh, and don't forget to like the video as well so everyone, uh, you know, those comments get some attention and the developers can see what our feedback is. All right, we got 592 wood. Let's go ahead and plop a farm down right there. We'll capture those cows here in a second. Now the question is, do we keep walling this off around like that or do we just wall this off and, you know, hopefully they don't attack that. Or we might use it as bait. I don't know. We've got most of our archers. They're moved into the towers, and these guys are trudging over to the wall. That is good. Six minutes left. Now, the one thing I did notice that we needed to fix, when we were building this section over here, someone made a big mistake. I don't know who it was. It definitely wasn't me. But someone put the door to our castle on the outside of the wall. Obviously, the developers have ran into this quite a few times, and they put this lovely rotate feature in right there. Thank you developers for knowing that would suck to tear that whole tower down, rebuild it so the door is facing the right way. Um, Cause that would be very embarrassing if the attack came this way and all of a sudden there were uh, moon people on the top of my tower cause we put the door on the wrong side. Anyways, uh, we caught that and we fixed it before it became an issue. Uh, all right, so the farm is being built. Let's go ahead and also put another house down. So we got plenty of people to man the farm. I'll plop a house right there, have another guy become a builder, and then we'll go ahead and assign some farmers as well. We're one short, that's okay. Close that out for a second. So they'll build that next house for us, and then we'll be able to get another farmer over there in a few seconds once that house is built. Perfect. All right, they are spawning our next person. I was hoping, and we'll see, we might be able to get it, but we won't be able to do a lot with the stone. Definitely in the next playthrough, we'll play, be able to capture stone, build some stone walls, build some stone towers and whatnot. Um, it's just in this start, when it started us up here, you know, we could have gone this way, but then there would have been no food. You know, so we kind of had to go this way, so we had, you know, plenty of access to food. We got, what, four food tiles over here. Our sunstone was over here you know, food tile here with the deer. Um, you know, if we had more time than just the 10 days, definitely capturing this pile of stone would have allowed us to get that. But obviously we don't have enough time, but in the next video, which you should definitely come back and watch, we will uh, build some stuff with stone, stone towers, stone walls. We can get into the siege weapons. Here it is, the siege workshop, where you can build ballistas, you can build uh, trebuchets, catapults, um, yeah, trebuchets which you can put on top of the tower and it can uh, help our archers rain down pain upon our enemies. Let's go ahead. Ooh, that's gonna lose a lot of trees right there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just wall this little part off there. Wall that little part off there. And that needs 300 wood, so we'll hold off on that. Hopefully the enemy comes from this way and they kind of get trapped between our archers and the walls. Um, but we'll see what happens here in 3 minutes and 30 seconds. It's coming up. We should be fine. Alright, let's, uh, let's take a peek at our archers here. They're looking pretty, pretty badass. You got some mountains in the background. Get a really good shot, really good view of them right, right there. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. A lot of archers there. What do we got? Uh, it should be like 25 archers, right? 24 archers? Did I not highlight? Yeah, 25 archers. Um... We'll go ahead and train up one more. Train that guy there. He'll come up and uh, that'll give us 26 archers. And I think we can get one or two more archers right there. Depending where they spawn, we might be rushing to move our troops down, our archers down here along the, the parapet or along the wall. Uh, but we'll see what happens with the spawn. Um, just to be safe, we will probably move our swordsmen down here. So they can at least slow down whoever decides to come that way. Two minutes and 30 seconds until the next attack. 
242 wood. We might have enough wood to kind of round this corner. I wouldn't mind getting these two walled off before the attack comes. 266 on the wood. Okay. Uh, we could, t if we have to, um, I don't know if we have enough time to do it. Well, we should have done, I should have built here and just destroyed those trees. Yeah, you live and you learn. Um, 338. Okay, so let's go ahead and build this section of wall there. And that means they will have to, if, even if they spawn here, they'll still have to swing around quite a bit to, to get around and flank our castle walls. But that's okay. That is okay indeed. You know, you could also comment down below what other games you'd like to see me play. I know I've been talking about Stronghold quite a bit, and I think that's going to be the next one I start recording after Beat Castle. I know, again, it's a castle simulation game, but with Stronghold Warlords coming out in about a month now, a couple weeks, it'd be nice to start revisiting some of the old ones and kind of getting everyone ready for the new one to be released sometime in March. I remember wasting, I shouldn't say wasting, playing quite a few hours of Stronghold Crusader, uh, but I'm thinking we'll go back and play the original Stronghold uh, and then do Crusader and Stronghold 2. I really didn't play a lot of 3 or Legends, um, but I do have them in my Steam library, so we, we can certainly take a peek at those as well, just depending on uh, you know what all you guys want. So let me know which one you want me to play. Like I said, definitely starting with the original and Crusader, but if you have interest in the other ones, uh, I have no issue doing those for you guys as well. Ooh, that one's 600 to build that span of wall there, but it is a pretty big span of wall. All right, 446. This needs 450, so just four more wood. I don't know if we will have enough time. 25 seconds left. We will see. Uh, even if we do get enough wood, which we do now have, I don't think we would have enough time to build it. So here's to hoping that um, with this attack comes from over here and they, they have to pass by our archers to, to get around the wall. All right, three seconds, two, one. Happy New Year's. There's the attack. Looks like they are going to try and flank us, those dirty dogs. So let's go ahead and start moving our archers down. Um, you know, that's the issue. We were prepared right here, but obviously we prepared in the wrong area. So let's go ahead and start moving that group down as well. Um, let's see, what do we got? A couple archers over there. Batting ram, batting ram, batting ram. Another group of archers. This is going to be close, boys and girls, because uh, they might be able to pick us off one by one. Uh, let's go ahead and back our swordsmen up. There they go. They can start backing up. These archers, let's, uh, we'll move them here. They'll be our, our fail safe. Yeah, see, we're moving too slow. They're going to be able to fire upon us. They're going to pick us off one by one. Yep. All right, just, um, shoot. Yep. Yep, yep. This is not good, boys and girls. Not good indeed. They're picking us off one by one. I'm trying to get them to stop, but they seem to not want to stop. You guys can just stop there, stop there, stop, stop. All right, well, this might be the end of our castle. You guys stop there. All right, these guys are moving over here. If anything, these guys are going to be our last hope because um, they'll have to swing all the way around to get us. So we've already lost, what, six, six archers? All right, let's go ahead and have our swordsmen... Uh, storm the breach, if you will, and hopefully the archers over here will be a little, uh, little disorganized. I see some fire arrows coming for our farm, so we're going to lose our farm here in a second. Yep, there goes the farm. That's okay. Have these guys attack them. Let's get a nice view of these guys just flooding the area. Yeah, look at them, uh. Look at them go. It's all right. We were able to stop a little bit of the bleed. Our archers on the tower, like I said, are going to be the guys that save us if anyone saves us. All right. That first battering ram has lost all of its occupants. Or oh, Someone just came over and started pushing it. 
Let's see, all those archers are back there. Our swordsmen, down to one swordsman, and there goes the last swordsman. All right, so now it's up to our archers to pick off as many people as possible. Uh, these three guys are goners. Thank you, gentlemen, for your service. We appreciate it in the name of the kingdom. Um, okay, this tower of archers is going to start raining arrows on these people. Let's see how close they get. First guy goes falling down. A couple more are starting to be picked off slowly. Here and there. Those archers, these archers are just picking these guys off as they come along. And they're going to breach the castle gate there. So I think this might be the end of the kingdom. Oh, there's one guy over here uh, providing a little bit of a, a damage. Let's see. They're going to be to the top here any second. They're shooting down, knocking out as many as they can. The heroic and valiant last stand. You know, the irony is if the door would have been on the other side, they would have been just fine. But obviously it isn't. Oh, they saw him and knocked him out. I see our archers falling out of the castle or of the walls up here. Looks like there's, what, four left? A couple left. Two left. One left. Still two. He's fighting. And there they go. Well, that is the end of the, uh, the kingdom. We made it to day nine. You know, if they would have attacked any other direction, or if they wouldn't have flanked all the way around, we probably would have been fine as they uh, wipe out our buildings. Uh, you know, we'll shed a tear. So, you know, comment down below if this has ever happened to you, or you just get annihilated right at the end. It sucks, but whatever. That's a part of building a castle, right? Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get this great why I suck at these games, but you get this great content on time in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for stopping by, and we will see you in the next video.